Hey, what's up you guys? I know it's been a week since I posted anything, but uh, I wanted to give you guys an update on a couple things. First of all, some of the, the cars uh, over at Colorworks are coming along, some of the Porsches that uh, you guys liked so much. And uh, I wanted to show you some of the video footage we got of the guy who stole the gun out of the truck. We found out who it is and we actually got the gun back. So stick around to the end, end of the video to find out. And uh, let's go take a look at some stuff. Good morning. What's up, Riley? Hey, baby. Yeah, so I wanted to come over. I wanted to show some people uh, where you were at with the, uh, the porches. Okay. So Matt's uh, welding up the rocker panel, left rocker on this uh, 56, 56, 57, hey, body. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was the rollover outlaw. I think the last time we talked, the nose wasn't on it. Uh, but we got the, the nose and the rear body panel on. We've got the bumper holes, so bumper line, the both bumpers line up nice. We've got the factory driving lights, the holes cut in those, mounted where they need to go. So we're still mocking stuff up, but this is all welded in. Gaps are good. Uh, you talked about how special this one was, it being the... Yeah, factory sunroof, uh, factory fog lights, driving lights. Uh, so we got the, the nose replaced, the right front fender replaced, right quarter panel, and the rear body panel. Everything fits nice now. We've got also the bumper holes finished in the back so the rear bumper fits in there nice and snug so this one's almost ready to go back to uh, for a light dusting blast and epoxy before we start doing the uh, rest of the hammer and dolly work and skim and block so you guys put in new floor pans in this one yeah, we put new floor pans repaired the longitudinals this uh, gentleman is 6465. Uh, so what we also did is dropped the seat mounts, made special mounts to drop alongside the tunnel, which scoots him over about about three quarters of an inch, but it allows his seat to drop all the way down so his head doesn't hit the headliner. This is it. I really do like the, the stripes though and the color combo. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the un unmolested oh, rear yeah, on it without yeah. being cut. Yeah, I know a lot of guys, even other Broncos I've worked on, you know, they end up cutting out the back. Yeah, these used to be really hard to find uncut. Yeah. Here's that Alfa Romeo. Yeah. Julieta Spider Veloce. It's coming along. I guess it's 1 of 32. Uh, you know, I, I learned a couple things being over here. 1 of 32 for the year. Uh, the only thing that made it a Veloce, well, one of the only things, the main thing I learned or these air ducts right here. Now, not an alpha guy, but you know, it's pretty cool. This one is the B body, I believe. I think this is the first one we looked at in the 59 Porsche video. Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff they need to, to rough in and 
Um, still got a lot of metal work left on this. I've got to cut the front off. And, And this guy definitely has some more work to it. Uh, I believe this is going on a Kenser chassis and it's an all new body. Um, I think the only thing coming from the original Bronco is going to be the, the VIN number, but you know, don't quote me on that. Um, I believe the original Bronco is the one that's uh, parked out next to the International, so. You know, really cool though that you can order an entire new body, put it together, but. Now my favorite part's these custom wheels. Yeah, Kenser throws them on these, these wheels so you can wheel around these chassis, but these are super awesome. Uh, Coyote 5 liter. Uh, super rad Tremec transmission and that that new Bronco body is literally just going to sit on this thing and you're going to have you know a modern truck a super capable modern truck take a look under here yes sir 5 liter powered by Ford Sweet old Ford pickup sitting in the back here. There's that 59. A rhodium green. Yeah, they spent a while uh, color sanding and yeah, they still got some work to do on this guy here. Gotta do all the undercoating. Oh, look at these these wires. Somebody spent some time tagging everything. So I didn't tell you guys, but last week we we looked at the cameras, obviously because the truck's parked right under some cameras, and uh, ended up finding out who took the gun out of the truck. And uh, it turns out um, there was somebody who we knew, and uh, we we thought we could trust. And uh, <laughs> so instead of confronting him. We, uh, we told his boss, and his boss had a talk with him, and uh, we ended up getting the, uh, the gun back, and uh, Matt had actually got it back and um, told me to come down and grab it. And uh, the guy said that he hid it in the bushes for safekeeping, um, <laughs> which, you know, I, I didn't even really care. It's just an airsoft gun, but... Uh, but the fact is, is, you know, he, he didn't just steal like a toy. He, uh, he betrayed the trust we all had in him. And uh, kind of a bummer, but uh, just goes to show that, you know, you, you can't always trust people. You know. Yeah, it's disappointing. Definitely. Well, we got it back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just like we got that truck back on the road. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we did get it back. And there's only one way to tell hey, if, uh, if somebody's that? changed. It's to see how safe things are when you put them right back where they belong. Thank you guys so much for uh, for sticking around for the update. And uh, I got some really cool, really, really cool stuff in the works. Um, some, some new vehicles I'm gonna be working on uh, that I think that you guys will enjoy. Uh, just, just haven't gotten the videos together yet. But uh, thank you guys so much and I will catch you next time.